All right, we're back to the pros and cons of Harley Quinn show, season three, episode three. All right, let's get this uh, dumpster fire over with. Uh, nitpick: I would be upset about how Batman is clearly okay with how Catwoman treats him in this episode. But one of the reasons I stopped reading Rebirth was because of how they made Batman forgive Catwoman without her apologizing for what she did. And if you don't know what that is, I've mentioned it before in other videos. You can either watch those and hopefully come across it, or you can just go and read Rebirth of Batman. Where you can see the bullshit she pulled. Because she's an idiot. Anyway, seriously, Catwoman gets to go free constantly. Because Batman gives her a certain talking to and then lets her go. Even though he finds out that she snuck off with the item he was trying to stop her from stealing. It's a constant thing. It's really fucking stupid. Because it kind of goes against his, his whole uh, uh, morals as a hero and shit. To just let a criminal keep getting away like that. It, like it, It's like rare that he actually locks that bitch up. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Con. Uh, yeah, no way in hell did Harley and Joker win those awards for best couple. Uh, everyone knows how shitty of a couple they are. Even the villains know this, okay? When the villains get together as couples, they don't treat each other like shit. They act like a real couple that does fucked up shit together, by the way. But they still act like a, a couple. They don't try to kill each other unless one of them was faking to get something from the other. Even if they were faking, they still went the distance to act like a real couple until they eventually double-crossed that motherfucker and they'll kill them. Whatever. Uh, Joker and Harley, they are the complete opposite of an actual couple. Joker treats Harley like shit and on occasion tries to kill Harley. I've mentioned that multiple goddamn fucking times. So, yeah, Harley will snap at random and will kick his ass. Not because he tried to kill her, though. It be over some stupid shit, and she'll fucking kill him. Not not kill him, she'll beat his ass. Like, for instance, I've mentioned before the dude that in the comics that she killed because she accused him of looking at her ass. He said he didn't, and then she proceeded to beat him to death with the bat because he wasn't looking at her ass. It would be shit like that that she would whoop Joker's ass over. It'd be really fucking stupid shit like that. Not because he tried to kill her, but shit like that. Uh, they were the worst couple in history. So how in the fuck would they win an award for this? When does this villains have award shows at that? They would all get arrested. Seriously. And it only exists for plot reasons. And oh my God. <laughs> the plot's fucking stupid as shit. Anyway, Khan, what the fuck is this? Since when was Riddler gay? He's straight and always has been. And no, I don't count any recent comics after they started this diversity and inclusion bullshit as canon. They retcon shit for no reason. You want a gay couple? Then make a couple of gay supervillains or heroes. Matter of fact, I've mentioned it before, gay comics is a thing. It's literally called gay comics. It's filled with literally gay stories with gay villains and, and gay heroes. It's a whole thing. You can just, if you want to make a story with gay villains in it, adapt some of the villains from that shit. Or the heroes from that shit. Hell, a, oh my God, I keep forgetting it. I think it's Esper's. Because at one point, I believe I was trying to remember it. I thought it was some Dazzler or some shit like that. But I think that's the name of him. But it's a, it's a guy who's a cross-dresser. Um, um, he cross-dressed uh, as a chick, obviously. He's a cross-dresser. Um, and I think it's Esper. Not Dazzle Dazzler. I think that's the name he goes by. But it's it's actually Esper. Asper? Some kind of purr. It's, some, it's something like that. He's a cross-dresser. He's gay. You could you could do that if you if you wanted to, but no, they don't want actual gay heroes and gay villains. They want to take straight uh, gay. Uh, want to take straight villains and heroes and turn them gay or lesbian or trans or whatever in order to uh, to push an, ag an agenda. That's the only thing I can think of. 
Except I've heard some people say uh, those other villains and or heroes don't have the same. Um, um, they will not get the same attention as making these said villains and heroes into gay, lesbian or trans or whatnot. Well, here's the problem with that. That makes any kind of hype or any kind of uh, uh, popularity that it gets artificial because it's not because they're gay. It's because of their namesake. So it's not really representation when you do that. If you want representation, use the actual gay, lesbian, or trans heroes that actually fucking exist. Push them out there, not push people who are not that. And 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 and, and try to it, it 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 just it's artificial. It's fake as fuck, and it's very fucking. So it makes no sense. Uh, it uh seriously just. Stop taking straight characters and making them gay. It, it, it's really stupid. And they and they do it. And they act as if uh, comic book fans are going to be okay with it. And when they're not okay with it, they call them misogynistic, racist, and, and all this homophobic, all this other bullshit like that. And it's not the case. You took an historically straight character and made them something else. That doesn't make... And they're like, yeah, that person isn't gay. And then when they point that out, you call them homophobic. That's not the case at all. It's not homophobic to notice when someone is doing something that makes no sense. Um, and to for for one part, for one thing, um, they like uh like like with Ivy. Let's let's do this. Like with Ivy, they didn't dive right into her being a lesbian. No. Um, they instead took a straight character and slowly eased her into the bisexual category. They didn't go straight on, oh, she's a lesbian because we want her to fuck Harley. No. In the comics, because when, uh, in the animated series, Harley isn't gay, she, well, lesbian. She's not lesbian. She's not bisexual. She's full on straight. But as, uh, as it went on, Ivy um, was also straight as fuck. You know, they both straight. But when they got into the comics after that show ended, um, you know, again, you're at the mercy of the people who are writing those stories. But they slowly kind of insinuated. They would have entire fucking scenes in there in the comics where uh, Ivy and Harley would be in the bed butt ass naked. They would have their... They would obviously hint at the fact that they fucked or... Like when uh, Ivy and Harley was in the fucking jungle, they came out of the Harley left out of the jungle, and apparently they basically insinuated it was real quick, real smooth, like you barely noticed it, which was what a lot of it was. You barely noticed it, but they basically insinuated that they had basically tent uh tentacle porn style sex with the fucking plants that Ivy was making. Both of them was doing it. They were both fucking. They. And it, it ha they spread that shit out. They didn't just jump right into it like issue after issue after issue of them fucking. No, they spread that shit out so you barely noticed it. They were fucking. It, as a matter of fact, it was just mainly to put her in the bisexual role. It was only Ivy and Harley that were doing that. It was no one else. Ivy didn't fuck any other chicks. She only fucked Harley. And Harley didn't fuck any other chicks. She only fucked Ivy. Harley was out there fucking other dudes. She fucked Batman. She fucked Nightwing. She, I think, no. I don't think she fucked Robin, no. But she, she fucked uh, Deadshot. She fucked a lot of dudes. Only chick she fucked, really, was Ivy. They only fucked each other. They were fuck buddies. They were best friends, but fuck buddies at the same time. And I mentioned before how that works, but being in a full-on relationship, nah, it doesn't work. But anyway, that shit worked. By spreading it out, and, and they basically insinuated it works because they didn't go full on lesbian. They went straight into the bisexual category. But Ivy and Harley were only fucking each other. That's it. They would only fuck each other when it came to the opposite sex. Completely okay with that. No complaints whatsoever. The problem here is when you go straight full on in to being straight gay or lesbian. That's when we have a problem. 
That's when you have a problem because you didn't ease no one in. You just straight up, instead of like putting lube on your dick and sticking it in so we can just, you know, be okay with it, I guess. No, you went, fuck the lube. I'm going in raw, no lube, dry as fuck. I'm just going to ram it in there, motherfucker. And you're just going to fucking accept it. Do not complain because I'm going to call you homophobic and all this other bullshit like that. See, that, that, mm, that's the problem there. That is the main fucking issue. You went in raw with no lube. And they have no choice but to notice. Anyway, pro. I like the outfits in this episode. They actually gave them new clothes for this event. The other events, it was uh, Harley would, would have a new outfit or Ivy would have a new outfit. But it would be the same outfit for like two seasons. They would change them into the same fucking outfit. At first, it was like, okay, cool, I like this outfit. But then after that, they just kept using that same outfit. But this time, brand new design. Liked it. Really did. Pro, the best thing I've seen so far, joy men getting knocked out by a dick cannon. This is fucking hilarious. Pro. Okay, somebody has a thing for Livewire as well who is involved in this show. And I know they do because they give Livewire a new design each time. And I fucking love it. I love each one. I don't know who you are. But I appreciate you. Con. Hell no. Y'all are not going to say complicated for his death. I. Right? You're not. He died saving his wife, Nora's life. Who is there, by the way, at this fucking award, sh award show? Whatever. All because of Harley. You might as well say that Harley killed him. Complicated my ass. Also, minus Scarecrow, Harley killed all of them. That is, that they showed. Harley killed all of them. Except for, uh, Joker killed Scarecrow. But yeah, you're not going to sit there and, and call Mr. Freeze's death a, a complicated. No. Harley killed him. He didn't deserve deserve that shit. She put him in a situation where he had to sacrifice his life for his wife. She basically killed him. Fuck them for doing that, by the way. Con. Okay. Woke bullshit rant from the race-swapped Catwoman said some things that irked me here, okay? These award ceremonies aren't real in this world. Be, in the in the world. And is in also it isn't real for her uh saying no black people have won the awards is pointless because this award ceremony is not real. It's only been mentioned this time in this episode. So it's not an actual fucking thing. So therefore of course, no black people in your world has actually got an award. There's a lot of black villains, but in this show itself, which is kind of weird, the only black uh, supervillain they've actually shown that is literally fucking black is Black Manta. That's it. They've only shown Black Manta. The Queen of uh, Fables is not black. She's white. Catwoman isn't black. She's white. So the only person in this show who has been black in a villain has been fucking Black Manta. Yeah. Maybe y'all should stop uh, focusing on, on that bullshit because it's kind of weird. Y'all talking about how no black people have been nominated for this award, but you only have one legit black person in your show. All the, uh, the other two black villains in the show are race swapped. They aren't really black. That's a problem. Maybe we should focus on y'all. Maybe y'all might be a little racist instead of calling your little fake award ceremony racist. Anyway, let, let, let me get back on point here. <laughs> let me get back on point. Okay. Again, she's not black. This bitch ain't black. All right? You're the equivalent of blackface in cartoons called a race swap. I'm black, and I call massive bullshit on this entire insulting scene. To think you assholes made her black just so she can do something like this is unbelievable. Also, yes, 
Catwoman is an anti-hero, but she wasn't always one. She started off as a villain until Batman changed her from that. Based off the fact that she just started dating Batman this episode, that means no one knew she became an anti-hero. To everyone else, she was still a villain. Therefore, you dumb bitch and writers, they nominated a fake black villain which makes her white guilt speech the most retarded thing you could possibly write into this show. An extra 1,000 cons for this bullshit. Just saying. Pro, don't know who she is, but she has a good design, and this scene was great. Pro, while Ivy is talking to Golden Glider, she says they should stop caring about other people and just be there to support the people they care about. I agree, and for that, the first time in a while, she says something in a lesson has been learned type of way that doesn't sound like complete bullshit. Nice. Pro, they are having one of those moments again where lesson learned bullshit, and I have no complaints. There's nothing to call bullshit on. She didn't say anything that I can say is an outright lie or downright bullshit. It seems like she's, in this one, I can say she may have actually learned a lesson She's actually there for Ivy, so I can't say that's bullshit. Although she's kind of in Ivy's way, by the way. Um, she hasn't been too much in Ivy's way this episode, but that's not going to last long. I'm, I'm telling you now, it's not going to last long. She's going to be right back in Ivy's way all the fuck over again. But other than that, I'm, I, I, there's nothing bullshit about it. I it's okay. It's good. It's good. But yeah, I really have issues with the uh, that whole uh, fake black cat woman speech. That 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 really irked me. That bitch, you are white, and you're do and you're doing this. What the fuck? Only gave you an award. Because you're black and it's out of pity or some shit like that. That, no. No, bitch. You're not even black. No. 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 I'm done.